welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted in a bit because I was not happy with my equipment, so I got a new camera that can finally like let me record like this and walk away like that and actually focus itself and work. I'm very excited about it. Also got a new haircut and I've been trying for so many years to get like the perfect shag like mullet kind of hybrid and finally I found the right place to do it um, it's cut loose in Brooklyn in Greenpoint and the hairdresser's name was Madeline amazing literally every step of the way as she was doing it I was just like in awe it was just perfect it came together perfectly every single little step I was just like never in fear I was just like wow in front. And it was so good. I'm so excited. But anyway, I don't know. Just wait. Just wait. This video is going to be 10, like a little bit more than 10, 10, 11, or 12, forgetting, um, cozy and chic autumn outfits. Starting strong with a twilight hoodie because cozy vibes. I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. Top is my Hot Topic New Moon Collection hoodie. I got it around the time that Depop was going crazy about them. Like, they were literally selling for $400. Don't know what's going on about that, but I found it for a lot less. And it is one of my prized possessions. Archive fashion, if you will. I'm just kidding. I don't like making fun of that term. People are crazy. And this Burberry skirt. Honestly, I really like ruching it up like that but hmm do I feel like it right now I don't think I do I like the the full zip up look I got these shiny tights off Amazon and these kitten heels from Buffalo Exchange and yeah montage moment <laughs> over it moment. Um, hopefully with less casualties this time. I think they stay better when I'm not wearing like really slippery tights. I am currently in my like skirts over pants era. I was always so scared of it but as soon as I started like literally just putting them all together I'm like oh wait this is so easy. I've been literally just putting all of my skirts over different pairs of pants in my wardrobe recently, finding so many new combinations because of how surprisingly easy this is and also just create something brand new and bold, like more of a statement than just like, I don't know, a new shirt with a different pair of pants, you know? These pants are actually like I didn't, I didn't button, I didn't, uh, I didn't zip this one up, so don't worry about that. They are, like, double-waisted, double-pocket jeans by a local designer in New York City called LaVille LLC. They also have a really cool zip detail. I love it because they're a bit more, not skinny, they're a bit baggy, but they're a bit, like, form-fitting, so having that little opening makes it a better silhouette for me. No, no, just a little bit. 
more flared, more baggy than they already are. I love the way that it lands on the shoe in this way. Like, opens up so much detail, but also just like, sits there. And my mom gave me this jacket. I'm pretty sure she had it from maybe the 80s or the 90s. And this skirt I found on Depop. Don't remember the brand because it's like, actually for the brands of these two, I'm going to just put them on the screen. They're just probably like some random, random old brand I've never heard of. Um, favorite detail about this look is that the skirt features both the wash of the pants and the wash of the jacket. And I love the combination of like muted dark red with like muted dark blue. Just love it. Look at the color of the t-shirt that I have on underneath. This is like a sleigh to me when it's like, this is like fully put together, four piece situation. I like this reminds me one time when I was assisting a stylist and she went over to the client and it was like hot in the room so she had like this full like beautiful like tracksuit on and the stylist like unzipped the jacket because it was hot and the t-shirt matched the whole thing so put together and so easy it just like makes me think that the easiest way to always feel put together with like clothing is having like really special pieces like having every piece from like the basics to like the big statement pieces be something you love like for a specific individual unique reason like whether it's like a t-shirt with like a little bit of asymmetry or a really cool button a really cool graphic that's something that you have the ability to just throw on and then it's already like an amazing piece like just having like the good collection of things that you really really love instead of just like kind of buying things, you know, buying a whole bunch of random stuff that are like almost what you need, like if you like really really love and research and spend time on each little piece, then like you could literally get changed in like five minutes, walk out the door and you're just like obsessed with your outfit. in this weather right now but this is what I wanted to do it's the perfect opportunity for when you're going out somewhere indoors but you don't want the jacket to ruin the look so I'm gonna go get that jacket let me show you this is my Andrew Mark jacket I got it like because I was a photo assistant on one of their photo shoots and they gave everyone the team jacket, which was so cute. Let me get on. But yeah, I think that it's like the perfect just amount of volume here to have like a nice wool coat. Also, obsessed. Like, the Kiehl's, the Adidas pants, and the Chic fur jacket or wool trench coat obsessed with that like this is another trend that I've been like playing around with a lot more than usual recently which is like adidas pants with like a really feminine or like dressy top and like a pair of heels ah why don't you try to stand on one foot like that's like a thing that people do but that's smart good job um, new new heels, obsessed with them, and love the way that these, just like the other pants, have like that opening at the bottom. Perfect for just like having the pants land perfectly. 
He's really too big. So I'd be like, but it's okay. And yeah, this is the look, and then take it off. And the wool jacket is also really helpful for hiding the fact that this is like a random like homemade rocket t-shirt from the boys thrift store section. But I'm obsessed with it. It's another one of my pet's possessions. But also really inspiring me to get this color in a baby tee because I've been loving it. bodysuit underneath an Isimiyaki top with this mud belt over it just because I tucked it into the skirt and the nature of like Isimiyaki shirts they're very like big and billowing so I wanted to like, create something that helps with the cinching of it in and then this skirt is my oldest brother's Calvin Klein dress shirt that I took from him to style my friend in a photo shoot once but I forgot to give it back so just been finding new ways to wear it. Um, I pulled this up. I'm gonna put it over the belt because that's kind of cool. Pull this up to create like an asymmetrical feel to it. How this is like up because I pulled the button part over here. Love this knotted detail. This is like one of my favorite things to wear because it has that kind of I don't know cop copy and um, I can name like any of the like archive designers of like asymmetry and canvas and knotted and stuff like that but yeah that's what I was going for and I think every single time I put it on it's like a different shape because of it being a shirt and, I, and like every time I tie it it's like slightly different um but yeah and then these tights I got off Amazon and new new shoes again but yeah I just love the shape and that creates like in the whole silhouette of the outfit just because it's like just sticks out in random places and you can really like pose it up like i love it sexy like and it's just putting a shirt on instead of pants like that's so it's so cool Options. I was thinking of putting like a sweater over like a button on, but I think this is like a lot chicer than I was picturing with the other one. Love the way that this like opens up. It's just like nice and flowing, and the like asymmetrical grommet belt. Again, of course, because I'm obsessed with those. And I realized that I don't. I'm not good at adding in the bags, so I'm gonna do that this time. I think this Prada bag goes really well with this look, and it's very sleek. I love this one. This is just so, like, just chic. I think it's like the skirt over the pants again. Like, it's not not that hard to just like put any kind of skirt over any kind of pants like with this one i thought it'd be a little bit 
more difficult because it's a wider leg than the jeans, but no, it's exactly the perfect silhouette. I love like when a skirt is like this short because it's like completely unwearable, but it, then it becomes like this like really cool belt detail. So this is kind of almost that kind of situation. So these pants are from Marc Jacobs. Mew Mew. Once again, this is a slip skirt given to me by my mom. Vintage again. Mud belt that I thrifted a while ago. Zara top. And the prom bag. <laughs> I love how like day and night this one is because like night but also like you could fully zip it up maybe even take the belt off I don't know you can keep the belt on now I don't know cute bag and stuff like that and this is just a very like daytime and also nighttime shoes because of the block I feel like it's a bit more daytime but it's also like a really unique and exciting shoe of like indoor kind of activities but kind of depending on a nice jacket to make it like that autumn winter look so I tucked to this Vivian Westwood t-shirt into these vintage vintage but probably early 2000s so the fact that we're calling that vintage interesting makes sense I guess um tucked this but left out this little corner because it like ends on the sides with like a little like opening so I thought that like worked perfectly just like I don't know cute so if you must would guess and then these docks a little closer to show you but I replaced the laces with ribbon and jacket this is my Meniere de Blanc proper jacket and it has like amazing pocket details, a really nice hood, and this like close over the zip with the buttons. It's like the elevated basic of puffer jackets. But this is another example of what I mean of just having nice pieces that you really love that you could just throw on in two seconds. You could just look put together without really doing anything. These pants and these shoes I always wear to work, and it's so easy if you have like an outfit that you have to wear like every single day to the same place that it can become boring or just feel like you're not doing anything. I thought about this when I was walking into work that the way that this jacket and these pants look, it just looks like such a perfectly put together outfit, even though it's literally just like throwing out a bunch of stuff for work. And then I'm gonna add accessories to this one. I know that these have like a thumb detail, but I'm gonna put these Vivian Westwood gloves over, which is nice to match this. That's cute. The way that it's like popping out of the thumb hole. And these are risky because they're just very big and bulky and a little scary, but it's my Oakley Sunnies. Maybe they're cute with this haircut. But yeah. Very New York City black puffer tech wear situation, but love it. Autumn here is really clean, so it's a necessity. Before I tried that out but that's like really cool there's like a really cool asymmetry to this because the the buttons come a little bit further than the middle zipper so when you open it it's like mostly on that side I really like that 
to me it's so creative of a detail and yet this is just the jacket I throw on. This look is my British flag Doc Martens. Totally not tying them up right now. Um, guest pants again, the Burberry skirt again, the med belt again, and the Zora shirt again. I wanted to play in with the like British punk shoes and the Burberry skirt. I feel like that. I love that vibe together. One of my favorite like countries, I guess, for fashion inspiration is England and just like the Vivian Westwood from like 80s like 70s 80s to the 90s even to the 2000s I think that like they're always ahead I, I just love like the punk and the everything about it I could probably do a better job of telling you the history of why I like it but we'll just go with that for now um loving the way that the grommet belt works with this it just adds that little like hardware like punk detail and the hair goes so well with it I think what I'm loving the most about this is that like the more I'm like changing into outfits the messier it gets and it like thrives in being so messy just so obsessed with it another skirt over pants moment see how even baggier these ones are and how huge this skirt is and somehow the silhouette is still like stunning to me. Super flattering, even though it's such a frumpy idea. are from my mom's vintage collection and oh my god I put these two pieces on and also the shoes and just felt so like structured chic like the shoulders and the way that the seam of these pants like stays intact forever and the little tiny heel love it like so chic so like businessy but cool if that makes sense. And I was gonna add this Levi's jacket to break up that kind of perfectly business formal chic structure silhouette. And this is also one of my mom's pieces. Yeah, I like how this looks. I love the blue as well. I love like mixing different types of the same color together. I have no idea why people say that that's bad. It clashes. No, it looks so good. Also thought it'd be nice to bring in the color for this like autumn. Like it just snowed yesterday, so these are all like crystally blue, like snowy. I like that. Yeah, very 70s vibes and also as with everything I'm gonna put the like unknown brands because these two I don't really know in the in the video um, these forgot to mention are from search and destroy like a punk consignment store in on st. Mark Street in Manhattan and they are early 2000s hot topic Kind of when Hot Topic was a bit more like fashion rather than like fan of a store. Like I remember my mom would tell me that she used to shop at Hot Topic all the time in the early 2000s because it was more of like a fashion store. Like they were selling Trip New York City and a bunch of other like genuine 
fashion brands and not just like t-shirts and like fandom stuff and toys and all that. Wow, didn't fall walking in with this combination again. This is a Millie skirt that I got from Crossroads, I think. Very rare to find something that I like in either like Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange. Also, I know that this is a huge flaw, but I love the way that like the lining is broken and peeks out in like a little asymmetrical way. And snakeskin jacket, also from my mom. Buffalo Exchange. Simple outfit, very chic. Very cute and girly. Love the way that it's like very girly, punk, and then like the juxtaposition with the hair and everything like that. And the kitten heels could like go both ways. but not least an outfit featuring this Kooji sweater that is the hardest thing for me to style because it's just so big and I'm so short like I don't know could be because I'm 5'1 but I'm so not used to like big frumpy top half of an outfit and yeah this is me trying I did like the way that the belt not on properly kind of pulls it together a bit. Yeah, I think I do like this. Burberry corduroy pants and these again. Yeah, I don't know. I think she's cute. that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching them and that they were good inspo or something like that. I really enjoyed making them all and I feel like I've never been more inspired than I am now with just styling and creating outfits. And super happy about the fact that I have now 10 outfits that I can reference from this video and just throw on whenever. Pretty proud of them all and loving the way they all look with my new hair. Hope you all had a great day today and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below if you want to and all my social medias will be linked down below as well.